the National Football League. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 74 yards. A key component of this team's offense, he will certainly stay in that role if he keeps producing like this each week. Expecting to make a run and not only matching, but exceeding those numbers as this one goes on. This is caught, it's Christian Watson. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. To throw is Gilbert. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You look at the Steeler defense. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window, because this is what you prepare for. This is what you practice for. This is what you think about. The ultimate test, taking on the number one overall offense in the league. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Gilbert. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty of room to work on in this game, right now. Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 17 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. Here's Fields now on second down. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does. They want to make sure they get him there. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So, C.D., you look at this offense and what they've been able to do. 8-0, perfect through the first two months of the year. Second half of the season still to come. We get that. But what kind of a percentage chance do you think that they have of running the table? Partner, I think it's hard to say because history would tell us that the chances aren't good at all. We've seen a lot of good teams get to this point, and then they have that one bad week and takes them out of the running. I'm going to say 25%, and I feel like I'm being generous with that number. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now a second and ten. Gilbert. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Steelers are going to take over at their own 41. He has just been alone for opposing offenses to account for now eight interceptions on the year. I love that number because I always think of center field. You know, when I hear eight because that's the position you write in the scorecard in baseball. And what do good center fielders do? 
take catch away all off. the alleys, right? They range <laughs> deep go. and make a whole lot of great catches. On second down, here's Fields. That's caught, Allen Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. Second and 12. Off play action, Fields. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. You look at this Packers defense. They enter play ranked eighth against the run in the NFL. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now runs straight ahead with Warren. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They run for it with Harris. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. To throw his fields. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Allen Robinson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys, get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two? win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Now Gilbert. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. They're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Down the sideline he goes. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Justin Fields, 43 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Bonswell, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. And he's had his struggles here early with a couple of interceptions as he'll try to refocus with a first and 10 to start this drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's caught by the rookie, Jaden Reed. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Back to throw. Gilbert. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there. And second down. Second and 10. Throwing again. Gilbert. He'll dump this down to Dillon. That's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. First down, Packers. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. From the 42-yard line, here's second and a yard. From the gun, it's Dillon. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Dillon. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. This defense for the Steelers, they were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. To throw on third down, Gilbert. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Badgley's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 3. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. On first and 10, here's Fields. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Fields. strike for 31. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On second down, this is Harris. Touchdown, Steelers! Najee Harris with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boswell for the extra point. And it's 21-3. So that drive, four plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. 
Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. First down, Packers. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Dylan on the inside give. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off play action, Gilbert. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Romeo Dobbs. 38 yards, and the Packers get a bit closer. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Holding, receiving team. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Meanwhile, Fields throw into the hands of Pickens. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Now a first down throw. Fields firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. To the air again, Fields. It's Najee Harris now on back-to-back -back plays with a catch. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. First down, and they go back to Harris. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and nine. Throw complete to Fryermuth. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Fields now to throw. Pickens on the slam. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Fields on first down. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! George Pickens, 26 yards! 
as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. A 10-play drive that time, and it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On second down, Dylan. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there at a first down. A gain of seven. First down, Green Bay. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Here's second and ten. Now it's Fields. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That one good for 37 yards. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the 4. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to take it in for a steal touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from four yards out. And the Steelers are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And a route is on here in this first half. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Gilbert. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yard is running the ball will increase this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. 
90 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. On the option left is Fields. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. George Pickens, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Steelers extend their lead yet again. Boswell good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to pump then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. To throw is Gilbert. It's Graham again with a catch, just like the last play. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And it's caught. And the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Dillon will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris. And really a lot of guys you could highlight on this offense with how well they've played, but he's one of them. He's been spectacular so far. I'd say he'd be the number one, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because it's not just the numbers. It's, as you said, I think he's a focal point. That's what he's been, and that means he's created other opportunities because they've had to bring the defense to him. He's run it really well. He's caught it out of the backfield. They're trying to stop him. That means there are chances for the rest of the guys to do damage themselves. That's good for a Pittsburgh Steeler. And they run with Harris off the option. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. A final shot before the break. Fields toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before break. Fields going to let one fly for Robinson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we have time over. No problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And 
and we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead, and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They've gone two months without a loss, eight straight wins for them, and they've got the lead here in this one as well, trying to make it nine in a row. And that to the 30, it'll be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. An option handoff given to Harris. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Off play action. Fields. That's down the field and caught by Firemuth. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though. Two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Throwing on third down, Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. But he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Harris. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. Hey, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards on the play. It's a gain of 23 yards. First down. Dylan now on first and ten. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 42-yard line. Gilbert. That's complete to Dobbs. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's second and five now from the 37. 
Now Gilbert. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. And was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his like rhythm was just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. So first and ten now from the 30. Here's Gilbert. This to Graham on the short pass. And down inside the 15 he goes. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. First down, Packers. They'll look to throw again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Brings up second and four at the eight-yard line. Off the play fake. Gilbert. And he's got the connection to the tight end Graham. Touchdown Packers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. Here we go. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't think there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain of 37. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10 to throw his fields. That's caught downfield by Pickens. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. George Pickens, 41 yards. And the Steelers have got it on cruise control. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packers offense set to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw, Gilbert. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They give to Dillon out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Gilbert. And this is going to be incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at it that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, Time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together. 
as that brings up another fourth down. Now on the return is Peterson. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Second down and four. Harris running straight ahead. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And he is caught. And they work this well up field across the 45. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. A play fake, now fields to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Got his man, it's caught for the Steelers' touchdown. Pat Fryermuth. 26 yards. And the Steelers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. We have played three quarters. Back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. From the 30 on second down, Gilbert. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Draw play, Dillon. Went across midfield and down into Steeler territory. 69 yards rushing for him now in the ball game from the 48-yard line. Here's second and three. Back to throw, Gilbert. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now. But he was fortunate on that one, not to have another turnover on his ledger. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Back to throw again. And that'll be complete to Dillon. 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. From the 22 now, here's second down and three. At the 22-yard line. Off play action. Gilbert. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal at the three-yard line. Let's go! They'll run here with Dillon. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Dillon, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Packers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point by Badgley, up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. This taken in right around the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. From the 46, here's second and five. They'll run again with Harris. Oh, and now some space toppling. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Meanwhile, field throw pulled in by Robinson here. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On play action, Fields. Eluding the pressure right. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. Now it's Fields. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fields throwing again. Robinson's got it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Gets this out wide to Pickens. That'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down to pick up a five yards. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're out, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And they, unfortunately, are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. 
And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing in completion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Fields on third down, setting up the screen. Harris, touchdown! Najee Harris. From 10 yards out, and the Steelers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Boswell good with the extra point, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, at least the NFL in interceptions have nearly added to that total. Got yeah, his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43 yard punt, three yard return, and they will take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And it's a fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31 yard line. Well, maybe. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Throwing on third down. Fields working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Five yards, now it's third and five. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Fields. That swing out wide to Harris. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. They hand this off to Harris. Fighting through, and he's got space. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 
And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Here's third and 10. Here's Fields. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they were able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Yeah, for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Packers get set to go. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Here's Gilbert. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Marlon Humphrey. And the Steelers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start the drive with Harris. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 